Hi everybody, I am back. As soon as I turned on this camera, I realized I'm looking like Where's Waldo with the shirt on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, but on a serious note, I was just sitting here thinking that in this country we have a lot of amazing opportunities. I mean, so many opportunities that in other countries they just do not have the freedom and the capacity to do a lot of the things that we do here. And I was thinking about that and I was just like, oh my goodness, we have all these opportunities, but do we really seize them? Do we really seize all of the opportunities that we have? And I'm saying that because I was just sitting here thinking about, oh, you know, the regular nine to five job and all of this stuff. And I was thinking like, you know what? Entrepreneurs make the world go round. That's just my personal opinion. But I believe that we make the world go round because if it wasn't for entrepreneurial, entrepreneurship and inventions and starting things fresh and new and thinking outside of the box, we wouldn't have a lot of things. Actually, we wouldn't even have Facebook. I wouldn't even be talking to you guys right now if it wasn't for Mark Zuckerberg who started Facebook. And I would say he's an entrepreneur. And you know what? Speaking of him, he actually started Facebook and he introduced this whole concept to about a few of his college roommates. And of course, like we do, something is outside of the box. It's weird. It's different. We don't really know if it's going to be profitable or not. So we shy away from it, right? And so there was only one person out of the, all the people that he introduced Facebook to and this concept to that rocked with him, that stuck with him. And you know what? I don't even know that person's name, but I am sure that he is sitting back collecting some fat checks right about now. And so when I was thinking about that concept, I think the same thing happened with Apple, too. Like, you know, um, the founders of Apple pitched it to a few different people and they kind of shied away from it. Like, oh, my goodness, that's not going to work. You're never going to change the music industry and, you know, how we listen and view music and all of this stuff. And look, these are million, probably billion dollar companies at this point. So when I was thinking about that, I was like, wow, there's so many times where we're presented with stuff early on in the beginning of the stages and then we shy away from it but later on down the road it becomes profitable and then I'm sure all the people all the people who said no nah, I'm cool on that I don't want to do the whole Apple thing I don't want to do the whole Facebook thing I bet you they are kicking themselves in the butt right now like seriously right I think we all could agree that you know what they messed up pretty big because they could be sitting on a lot of money right now and I think we do that with a lot of other opportunities too and I'm saying all of this to say this, if you, and this is a tip, and it's probably not going to really sit well with everybody, but I know I'm talking to a handful of people out there. And if this is you, please hear me. Do not ever, 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 ever in your whole entire life, let me get close. <laughs> Don't ever in your whole entire life turn down a project, an event, a business or any other opportunity without looking at it in its entirety. It may not be something that you, you know, you typically would do on a regular basis, but do not do that because you don't want to be like one of those roommates with Mark Zuckerberg in the Facebook kicking yourself in the butt because you had the opportunity to get in on something very early on and you blew it. And now we're all sitting back. And I'm sure they're sitting back watching Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook blow up and they're just like, oh my God, every day. I know they're just pissed at themselves. You don't want to be those person. Don't be those roommates. So if somebody presents you with something, please look at it in its entirety. Because it has the potential to change your life. And I mean change your whole life. I am big on generational wealth. And we need to understand this concept because Rockefeller and Hilton and all of these people, they leave money for two and three generations. They great, great grandkids and all of that. They're just sitting on money, right? Not having to work a day in their life. Can we understand that concept? Can we please start to understand that concept? Because I read a statistic earlier, I think it was earlier this week, where I think it's like 95% or something around that nature of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. That means there's no cushion. There's no extra. 
this is how much you make and this is how much you got in bills there's no there's no wiggle room so that means if you have an emergency your tire you know is on flat or you need some car repairs or somebody gets sick and have to go to the hospital or whatever the case may be you don't have enough money to cover that because you're living from paycheck to paycheck that is horrible and I also read in the same article that most of us don't even have a thousand dollars in our savings account to cover emergency situations and that's not a place to be in because if we're not having the money then that means we're going to credit we're going to credit for everything credit 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 and you're getting into debt and we all know how how crazy you know credit card and student loan debt can be trust me I know the student loan part but yeah I said all of that to say please don't shy away from opportunities and I mean, especially if it's coming from somebody that you know, somebody that you trust, somebody that you know is rocking with you and is not going to shoot some buffoonery to you. Like, trust and believe that. <laughs> because I know we've all been scammed before and we always done, you know, done this and done that. But you know what? You never know. Just by statistics, by stats alone, the people who jump on these different opportunities one of it is bound to be successful one of it is bound one of them are bound to hit so don't be one of those people on the sideline and looking like dang i should have got in early now it's blowing up and now you're not reaping the benefits of what people will reap when they start something from the beginning think about it if you were a shareholder or if you got stocks with apple or facebook right now or whatever the case may be you wouldn't benefit like what mark zuckerberg is benefiting from or that one person who um jumped on the business opportunity with him you wouldn't be benefiting in the same way so don't be one of those people i'm telling you right now if oprah winfrey sees it fit to have at least 14 streams of income going on at any given time and she is one of the richest people in the world don't you think the average person should really jump on the bad wagon and see that hmm, there's something to this. There is something to this. So I didn't mean for this video to be this long. But one thing I want you guys to really, really understand is three things. And if you never, ever heard of residual income or passive income or multiple streams of income, you need to find out because it's lovely, honey. It's lovely. <laughs> but what I wanted to tell you guys is three things. Three things. You have to understand, one, timing. Timing is everything in situations like this. Two, positioning. You want to put yourself in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And the third thing, which I believe what Oprah has mastered, is leverage. And that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother concept. So even within people who have businesses, you know, um, they think like, oh, I got my own business and I'm going strong. But that's only one source of income. What about the other six? Millionaires have at least seven streams of income going on at one time. So I'm saying all of that to say, you know what, if you've been able to master um, multiple streams of income within a stream of income, that's a whole nother topic and a whole nother conversation. But don't sit on stuff. I'm telling you, you will lose out. You will lose out big. So if you're one of those people who want to tap in and you're like, Keandra, what are you talking about? I want to learn more. Get in my DM. Slide in my DM real quick. Inbox me for real because I'm not playing games right now and I came up on something that's epic, mammoth, monumental that's about to shift everything. And even my family and friends don't even know, but they just about to benefit just off of default. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So didn't mean for this video to be this long. I'm up here looking like where's Waldo, but it's all good. I'm excited about this message, but like I said, if you want to reach out to me, please um, reach out to me. I just feel like if I had a mic, I would just like drop it right now. Boom. But I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Be blessed.